ladies and gentlemen, and I'm sure this is a very long and um, really wanted tutorial, a sequel to the original um, and very extremely popular, in fact the most popular video on my channel, and that is making the clean cut logo in GIMP. So I've been thinking for a while to make a new logo tutorial, um, seeing how popular the last one was, which was absolutely amazing. I, I would never think that my last logo tutorial actually um, was like achieved that many um, video views and etc and so many positive feedback. So I've come up with the sequel here. I've been working on this for like past 40 minutes, something like that, and I thought, while it's still in my head, I'm going to show you how to make this. Of course, this is a GIMP tutorial, one a GIMP tutorial, we haven't done one of those in um, quite a while actually, I think the last one was the glossy metal text um, tutorial, so yes. So let's get started. So, um, so what we've got going here is, basically we've got, it's quite glossy as you can see, on the navigation, um, yeah, they need to be fixed up, those. You can see the, if you zoom in, that's not properly, and that's the shadow that I need to fix up, but it's good enough for it for tutorial purposes. So anyway, we've got some glosses going on here, we've got some shines up here, and we've got these really cool cartoony waves going here. We've also got the waves on the text and this really nice simple cartoony drop shadow here um, for our orb which sort of adds a really nice effect. Okay so let's get started. By the way I've created a little palette here uh, for the colors that we'll be using. So that's the base color then we've got that color goes there, etc. So um, I'm going to leave a little document that you guys can uh, open up and I'll just tell you the values of the colors as we go. So we're going to go to File New and for a logo size we're going to go um, 1400 by 1400 and we're going to click OK. We'll just move this over here, like so. Okay, let's start off by making a background colour. The colour I've got for the background is 252525. Just type that in there, and we're going to fill that in. And we're going to make a new layer, as we do. We're going to get the Eclipse um, Select tool and we're just going to drag out a circle like so. A bit too big that is. So we're just going to make a new one. Holding Shift and Control Command you can scale up. Keeping the ratios and we're just going to fill that in on our new layer with black. Command or control shift A to deselect. And can we align this? Will it let me align? No. I'll just have to use manual. Sometimes that doesn't work with me. Just using my keyboard because GIMP's not the best on this computer. Sorry about the loud clacky keyboard. I've got it for Blender because it's got a um, numpad. Anyway, so now we've got our little eclipse here. We are going to um, color match. So go over to here, get your palette, and we're going to select this first color. Go over to this image, and we're going to right click, alpha to selection, fill. Okay, so there we have a very nice um, colored circle. Okay, we're going to make the drop shadow right now, so we're going to duplicate this layer, move this under, 
and we're going to call this drop shadow. I'm going to do some labeling because this is quite a few layers and we'll call this circle. On the drop shadow we're going to go right click alpha to selection and we're going to go to select grow. We're going to grow this by 14 pixels. We're then going to fill this with black. Deselect. So you just go to select none. Um, we're then going to get our move tool and using our arrow keys we're going to slide this down like so. So we've got a uh, it's quite small at the top and then it gets quite fat around here. That's the effect we're going for. So now it's time to create our waves. So create a new layer. I'm going to call it waves. And when we're creating our waves, we want to first get a color swatch. And of this color here, I'll leave a link in the description to download this palette here. And we're just going to get our pen tool. Now with our pen tool, we're going to click here and about here, and we're just going to go like so. Then we're going to click in line again, and it bends. Then we're going to click again, like so, and click again. And then we'll go all the way down, like so, and hitting, holding control or command, this icon should come up, and we'll join that together. Hit enter on your keyboard. And we're just going to fill that in. And then we're just going to select none. We're then going to duplicate our waves layer here. And we're just going to move it down using our move tool, hitting M for the keyboard shortcut. And we're just going to right click alpha to selection. Let us get our color palette down here. Select that color. and fill it in so we know where we are. We're going to select none. Sorry if I'm going a bit too fast, it's just I want to keep this in a reasonable time. And we're just going to move it down quite a large amount, even more than that. Something like so. We're then going to duplicate this once more time and we're going to get our last color And that is that one. And we're simply going to after selection and fill that in. Selecting none and we're just going to move this again. Somewhere around that. Okay, so our waves are looking very smooth, which I'm very happy with because the last waves didn't look that smooth. So we're just going to uh, merge those down. So we've got our waves layer here, which is excellent. Um, that's a big, big step. Um, so if you didn't get that, just pause and go back. Um, as I said, I'm trying to get through this uh, at a reasonable pace, but we want to know everything. So after we've created our waves, the thing I did is our waves look stupid like this because they're not shaped like the circle, they're not spherical. So we're just going to um, rotate these first. You don't have to rotate these, I just like my waves a bit on an angle. And hit rotate. And just move these up around to the center of our circle here. Like so. We're going to right click on our circle and hit alpha to selection. Then we're going to go to select, invert, edit, cut. And that removes all of that horrible junk um, from the outside of the circle, like it removes it. So we'll just select none. So now we've got a sort of nice shape going here. Um, if I just look back, um, we've still got these little bubbles to do. We've got these shines and the text. So we'll start off with the shines. The first shine we're going to do is we're going to make a new layer and we're going to get this color. Sorry. We're going to color swatch this color, our circles color. 
and we're going to call this layer shine oh sorry we'll call it glow one and we're going to get a we're going to change the color and to a lighter color like so we're then going to get a soft rusty brush i was about to say that and we're just going to plop that in the center and we're simply just going to lower that there's opacity let's make it quite big um sweet yeah so we want to lower that layer's opacity and set it on overlay as well so set it on overlay and set its opacity down a bit so now it's sort of taking shape we've got our circle we've got our waves and we've got our first glow we're now going to add a gloss so we're just going to make a new layer called gloss we're then going to grab our um, elliptical shape tool set the color the foreground color to white and we're just going to make a nice shape like that. Make sure it's not too big because we want it to go just here. We're then going to get our gradient tool and make sure it's on um, radio, uh, linear. And we're just going to stroke down. Oh, sorry. Sorry, make sure it's on FG to transparent and then stroke down. And then hit deselect. And we just want to lower that opacity like so. What left have we got? Yeah, okay. So I'm just referencing this. Okay, let's just lower that glosses opacity again we're also going to add an alpha to selection we're adding another glow so make a new layer for another glow we'll call this glow 2 and this is a white glow and it's a radial glow and since we alpha to selection this the glow won't go outside and we're just gonna go like that and we're going to lower the um, it's going to be on overlay and we're just going to lower it quite a bit and set it under so it's looking good it's looking great actually so you can edit the glosses and the glows as much as you like select none okay so we've got this really nice nice effect going here now we're going to add these bubbles so above the waves layer we want to make a new layer and we'll call it bubbles and we're going to grab our elliptical tool set the color on white and we're just going to make a little shape little shapes and these can vary from size And I'll make a tiny one there. I'm also going to make some down here in this top right corner. And we're just going to make one here. And I'll make a small one just there. Okay, you can add as many bubbles as you like to your image. I'm just going to lower the opacity of these, just so it adds a bit of nicer extra detail we can add to our thing. Now it's time for our text. So we're going to make a new layer, just, just to block it up. We'll just call it block. I always make one of these in GIMP. And we're going to get a text tool and our color doesn't really matter right now. Um, actually it does, we need to color pick, we're going to get this color here. So go onto our waves and we're going to select the top wave color there. 
that's how I like it and we're then going to just make it a bit lighter like so like 67C2EC and we're going to the font I'm using is Nove Cento Sans Wide Bold. I'll leave a link um, in the description for you to download that. There's quite a process you have to go through. You have to make an account for my font and etc. Um, so I'm going to be using a size of around 200. Actually, I'm going to use 250. See how that turns out. If not, we can always size it up. And I'm just going to type example and just move it into our circle here. Example, and then set the little text on 200. And we'll call this example text. OK, let's merge those two down and we're just going to move it into the center of our circle like so so now we've got our little text going here so it's simple example text okay now we're going to duplicate our waves layer and move it all the way above our example text we're going to then rotate it so it's flat like so and then we're going to overlay it on our text like so so a bit more up and we're going to alpha to selection on our text and then we're going to go to select we're going to go to select invert edit cut on our waves layer make sure you use that on the waves layer we're then going to um, deselect that so we've got our nice text going here now the thing is you can't even see it okay we've got the L here which you can barely see it's just the colors are really offset and you can just see it so we're going to add a nice drop shadow to this we're going to duplicate this layer and we're going to move it down. We're then going to change the color. We're going to go, sorry, alpha to selection. And then we're going to go select, grow. We're going to grow this by 12. And that's a good size. And we're going to fill this with pure black. Make sure you're on fill whole selection. We're then going to deselect. And we're going to get the move and just move it down. Like so. Now we can merge down our text after you finish editing it. Delete our little block here and we need to move it under our glows and glosses. And there we have it. A simple cartoony 2d logo so thank you very much for watching the tutorial looks pretty similar yeah i'm surprised it looks so good yeah so thank you very much for watching this logo tutorial and i shall catch you in my next one by the way you have some extra things you can add you could add some extra bubbles um you could also edit the waves colors also these colors you can have in blue red you just need to make a small little palette like so up there i'll leave a download link for the palette and um you could also maybe add some drips of paint like splotching on it so thank you very much for watching this again and i shall catch you on my brand new my brand new next tutorial thank you very much